Well, Daniel Jackaway was supposed to be the uh, worship associate today, but he's homesick with COVID, so I am reading his words. And I told him when I read this that um, I heard his voice in the words, and I, I hope you can hear his voice through mine. But here we go. <clears throat> I spent my whole childhood in a mid-sized Unitarian Universalist fellowship in an East Coast college town. It was the center of my family's social life. We were there every Sunday, and we spent a lot of time socializing with people from the church. Church is where my parents showed me their values. They never directly instructed me there. Better, they demonstrated true service to a community. I saw them step up for visible leadership and unglamorous service alike. I still take much of what I got from growing up UU for granted because it felt so normal, even natural. It's hard for me to conceptualize not growing up in a community founded on liberal values, inclusion, multiculturalism, and religious pluralism. For example, I am culturally Jewish, and for years I was confused when people at school asked me about that in a way that seemed like it really mattered. I knew of the history of oppression, but in my life, especially at church, being one of the few Jewish families was just a small detail about us, like being one of the only families with relatives on the West Coast. I didn't appreciate how special that was because it was what I had always known. Most formatively, my home church believed in me. The most meaningful instance of this is when I started attending Welcoming Congregation workshops. Welcoming Congregation was a program developed by the UUA for churches back when being pro-LGBT was a little contentious, even for UUs. A church would first educate their congregations about LGBT issues via a series of workshops, and then have a congregational vote affirming their status as an actively welcoming congregation to people of all sexualities and gender identities. When I was in middle school, a friend invited me to stay after church one day to attend the introductory welcoming congregation workshop with her. A few weeks later, I attended another workshop in the series. I guess the facil facilitators were impressed with my engagement and participation. The next thing I knew, I was invited onto the welcoming congregation committee. The committee planned those workshops, pride events, and lobbying efforts. This was the mid-2000s, when even my blue state had new laws against no laws against discrimination based on sexuality and gender identity. Even so, at the age of 13, I was on a committee. For all of high school, I was planning events and facilitating workshops targeted at adults. I was attending monthly meetings with agendas. And as far as I could tell, everyone was treating me just like another committee member, valuing my input and trusting me to follow through on my commitments. Being called into service as a meaningful contributor was one of the most empowering experiences of my life. It taught me that I can make a difference in bigger ways than I might expect. And it taught me confidence in myself that I have carried forward to this day as I have continued to find ways to lead here at UUSF, in other volunteer organizations, and in my career. I truly don't know who I would be if I had not grown up Unitarian Universalist.